Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have been working on getting out of my comfort zone, trying out new styles for you guys. I'll be using Trey Lux products in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy, and please keep watching. So I'm already going to start off on cleansed hair using their Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse, and I'm going to start by parting my hair. And I decided to go with a deep part. I wanted the design just to be on one side and I wanted more of a fuller look on the other side of my hair. I'm then gonna clip off the sections of my hair and start to get ready for the conditioning. So I went in with the Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. I really do like this conditioner because it's great for detangling, moisturizing my hair and it really replenishes moisture back into my curls, which is always a good thing. After that, I'm then going to cocktail with the Reflex Curl Styling Serum. So this is going to create really nice, bouncy, silky curls. And I like that it really gives me a really good hold. It's not too hard and it's not too crunchy at all. I really like how it gives a soft, defined curl. Now it's time for the style on the side of my hair. I'm going to go in and I'm going to part that section off into four tiny sections. And on that front section, those two parts, I'm going to apply two rubber bands. So for the crisscross effect, I'm then going to take the two front pieces that I have already in the rubber bands, I'm then going to connect that with the piece of hair that does not have it right diagonal to if that makes sense, that's right across from it. So I'm going to connect those two strands of hair together on both sides and you easily get that crisscross design on the sides of the hair. So after I finish the bottom section, I'm then going to go in with the top section and then you're going to see that I'm going to create that diagonal going at a downward to connect to that other one to that bottom section it's kind of confusing to explain it but I hope that my visual you can see I'm just doing a crisscross design I'm connecting the rubber bands together with the hairs that are diagonal from each other to give it this boxy crisscross look so my parting could have been a little bit better but overall I did like the effect um, again I told you that I am practicing you know different styles so this is something I'm definitely gonna have to practice again I'm then gonna smooth my edges using that reflex curl styling serum I like that it gives me a good enough hold where I can lay my edges down and it is a nice flexible hold at the same time so with that crisscross design that I did achieve it's gonna be hairs left out of the ends and I just took those products that I showed you guys before I used untie the knot and that reflex styling serum and then I did um, two strand twist at the ends of the hair So I've already flat twist the back of my hair just to save some time And now I'm going to show you guys how I did the front section of my hair My parting was a little bit different because I had a different idea of how I wanted my twist to go And after I got done detangling my hair I decide to part my hair in the front section at a diagonal I then went in with the 4-in-1 hydrating cream and I also went in with the high definition curl enhancing styling gel and I rake that into each section of my flat twist I'm going to be twisting. So FYI, I did cocktail all four of those products together, the Untie the Knot, also mixed with the Reflex Curl Styling Cream, the 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream, also the Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. I like to make sure that I'm getting a really good amount of each product into the hair. I think that's really important just for definition and also moisture, and I think that my curls really did work well all together. When you cocktail these products, they work really well together. And as you can see here, once I use all these products together, you can see the amount of definition and moisture that you do get when you are using these products together. So I really made sure when I was twisting my hair that I was really taking my time. I coated the hair nicely and I also used a rat tail comb to part my hair just to make sure that everything was nice and neat, which I never do. But I really wanted something where I can develop into creating twist out styles where I can just leave at the house. I really wanted to work on also doing protective styling. So this is a really good practice for me. And I really did like overall how the twist turned out and what they looked like. So after the twists are all complete, this is what it looked like. I really did enjoy this twist out. It was very, very nice and neat, which I really did like the presentation of everything. So since I already had freshly washed and it was pretty coated um, heavily with products, I sometimes like to go in with a blow dryer on a very low heat setting and I like to stretch my hair down so I can elongate my curls. 
and I decided to do this everywhere on my head. So I don't let my hair get fully dry because I don't have the time for that, but you wanna make sure that you are not tucking the hair very hard and let everything air dry overnight. And so for an even better stretch, I then like to go with my bobby pins. As you can see here, I stretch my twist down even more to elongate my curls. So it's now time for the takedown, and as you see here, I got amazing definition. I have really enjoyed using the Trelux products. I did do a whole review on this line already, so I will put a card up so you guys can go check out that other video. But I always get the softest, defined, moisturized, hydrating, bouncy, and really shiny curls. And I always make sure that I put a hair oil or any type of serum on my fingertips so when I am taking my curls out, it does reduce the frizz. I do see that that helps out really well. And I also make sure that I'm taking my time when I'm taking my twist out to not tug at the hair or just go really aggressively because you can create frizz that way. I really do like to take my time when I'm taking them out. So on the sides over here, I wanted to show you that definition as well. Like it was just a beautiful, beautiful twist out. And after I get done taking out my twist, I then like to go in with my really wide tooth comb and I like to get that really a good amount of volume. I like to pick my hair to the ceiling so I can make sure that my hair has a lot of curl definition and bounce and it's really volumized. I also put a little bit of edge control on my hair just to make everything look really neat and defined. So I've been really loving the hair jewels that I see going around on natural hair. I love that it gives this really pretty, it just puts it together and it makes the hairstyle look so much better. It really makes it pop. And it really creates that nice added touch to the hair. So this is what everything looks like and I put those jewels on those rubber bands that we discussed at the beginning of the tutorial. So with that you guys, this tutorial is all complete. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. I have been really enjoying stepping out of my comfort zone, trying new products. I really did enjoy the Trey Looks products as well to create this beautiful twist out and this wonderful hairstyle. Comment down below and let me know have you tried out these products. I will link everything down below where you can find them and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!